This one goes out to anyone who has a dream. This telethon is more than just raise money to research for cancer. The way I see it, cancer is something that stops you from doing something that you want to do, a dream that you have in life. This one goes out to all the dreamers who are listening to my voice right now. Once upon a time, we were told that we could become anything that we wanted to be, that there were no boundaries too big or too small, or no walls that we couldn't crawl over to achieve our innocent dreams. Well, what happened between now and then? Life went by so fast and now I'm begging to be young again. When I was little, I would gaze upon my mobile at night and it would soothe me to sleep. Thomas the train kept pushing forward. My nightlight never let the darkness swarm in on me. And mother always tucked me in at night and said, sweet dreams, my dear son. Well, I want all of that back. So can the hands of time just be reversed justice one last time? Because this world is really starting to hurt me. How will I be able to survive out in the real world? I'm just a child. Some mother used to cradle me at night when I thrived off the sounds of my own cries. You told me everything would be all right and that you were there for me. And Father, you told me to never give in, never ever give up and never even think about surrendering. Push harder and fight harder than I did the morning before. Well, if only were that easy to practice what you preach at me. I've got broken wings that cannot even flutter. I've got so much pressure on my back that I can't even see heaven anymore. I walk on tight ropes every day and I don't have any floorboards to save me from slipping. And though I struggle to hold on, nightfall replaces the dawn to the point where all I feel is my youth slipping further from my grip. Those days when I used to play in the rain have now become moments of infinite worry and frustration. The grass stains I decorated my jeans with are now reminding me of the innocence I won't see. The puddle of mud that I used to play in, that I used to frolic in, are now reminding me of those days that have just passed by. These tiny hands, that put themselves in the mud could never even imagine what created such a flood. When I was three, I dreamed of becoming Batman. That cape strapped around my neck made me believe that I could jump off buildings, soar high into the sky, and even sleep on the moon. Well, who can teach me how to fly? Who can even fathom the idea of teaching me how to stop a speeding bullet? Because every morning when I go to sleep at night, I know challenges are gonna come back again and I don't know how to fight them anymore. From the time I was a young child, I dreamed of becoming something more than what my bathroom mirror told me. That I could overcome every past mistake, every past regret and move forward and be a stronger version of who I see in the mirror right before me. Once upon a time, I believed that I could become anything that I wanted to be. That any wish, any hope that I saw out in the stars, that I could wrap my wishes around that dream and make reality something I wanted to see, something I wanted to see right before me. But then the stress of life clenched my throat so tight, so tight that I couldn't breathe in at night. The threat of failure became my reality and I the casualty but I still want to see my dreams unfold right before me. I still hope they light up my life like my nightlight once did. And I can keep thinking once upon a time until I memorize that line, but I need to recognize that today is my time to step over this line. Maybe I might fall. Maybe I might crash and burn. Maybe I might fall into the American grave dug for dreamers just like me and have my headstone etched with the words forgotten and fallen prophecy. But I'm not gonna let that keep me here. I'm not gonna let that keep me up here for one more second. I'm gonna jump into my dream because I want this to happen so bad. And if this dream decays my heart, Remember the inspiration that ignited my heart from frustration to motivation. Remember how I fought for everything and every moment of life like it meant something, like it meant everything. How I sacrificed everything for that one dream. And if I soar to new heights that few have ever seen before, follow me into Neverland, 
because life is more than watching your life fade away like the moments of sand hitting the bottom of a jar. Life is about seeing how far we can fly. And this could be my worst idea yet or my defining moment, but I will never ever know until I take this chance. Once upon a time, it used to be something we only heard in the storybooks, something we heard when we were too tired to stay awake at night. Once upon a time, it used to guide us through enchanted forests where we would watch the horizon kissing the very ground we walked on. Well, what if I told you that once upon a time starts now? Thank you. Thank you, Christian Nesbitt. Thank you for sharing your talent.